we learn how to walk and run at a very early age in life. Despite this, you can find different mistakes in running techniques at any level of performance. We therefore would like to help you to recognize and correct these mistakes. We will present special exercises in the field of running techniques, stretching and strengthening muscles. A good running technique prevents injuries and is the prerequisite to improving your performance. After all, a good technique increases the fun. A good running technique is distinguished by several features. For illustration purposes, we will now subdivide the runner into the torso, including the head and the arms and the legs. The importance of how you place your foot on the ground is dealt with separately. Your torso is completely stretched and leaning slightly forward. It is very important that your hip is stretched. This hip stretching will be looked at separately in the section on basic running exercises. Your head is held upright and you look straight ahead. The most important criterion is the full stretching of the hip. Imagine a string on your chest that pulls you up diagonally so that you become taller and taller. Your shoulders should stay as still as possible. To do so, the upper body has to be upright. Your arms move actively in the direction you are running. They must not be held across the torso. Your lower arms are held above the hip. Your hands are loosely closed. The legs are the most important part of your body for running. Your heel moves up just when your foot loses contact to the ground. If the pace gets faster, your heel is brought nearer to your bottom. At a moderate pace, your knee should be the heel's highest point. A fast pace is only possible if your heel is lifted appropriately due to the fact that an unbended leg is too long to function as a fast pendulum. Otherwise, it cannot be brought forward quickly. After lifting up your heel, your thigh moves forward. Your heel stays up by tensing the rear thigh muscle. As soon as your thigh reaches its highest point, the rear thigh muscle relaxes and your lower leg swings passively forward. Good runners lift their thighs to such an extent that the lower leg can swing out in front of the kneecap. Do not try to push your lower leg actively to the front because you would use the wrong muscles. Try to lift your heel up and your knee to the front and swing your lower leg forward passively by relaxing the back thigh muscle. You touch the ground with the outside of your foot. If the pace gets faster, 
your foot touches the ground with the outer side of the ball of your foot. Ideally, your foot is already in a backward motion because your lower leg was swinging forward prior to this. Your heel goes down after the foot has touched the ground. This motion is controlled by the calf muscles and the Achilles tendon so that part of the impact is absorbed. Your whole foot touches the ground briefly. First the forefoot, then the middle part of the foot and finally the heel. A natural inward rotation around the axis of the foot occurs as soon as the whole foot touches the ground. This is called pronation. It absorbs the impact as well. First you put your weight on the front of your foot, then you lift your heel and finally you press your toes on the ground in order to do the next step. This running technique is called four foot run and is automatically used by most runners. Slow runners touch the ground with a heel and roll the whole foot. This technique is called heel run. The technique, des the technique of the forefoot run comes automatically when the pace increases. Otherwise, the impact of the foot could not be absorbed. It is also called forefoot run if you place your foot on its outer side. To simplify it, everything that is not heel run is called forefoot run. Please do not try to run only on the ball of your foot. This strains the Achilles tendon and calf muscles too much, which can lead to injuries. This running technique is only used by a small number of runners who do this unconsciously. At a high pace, the technique stays the same, only the extent changes. Your arms are applied more strongly, heel and thigh are lifted higher, your lower leg swings further forward and the length of your step increases. <laughs>